Hi, this is Fernando Sosa from HeyOnTech.com, and this is your cybersecurity tip of the day. Today's tip has to do with getting hacked at gas stations. There's a very interesting hack that is that is coming up recently in the news, and it has to do with uh, gas stations that um, are vulnerable to being hacked, and then people who go and purchase uh, gas with their credit card get hacked. And the way that it works is the following. I've mentioned before about phishing email, uh, and basically when a gas station, one of the attendants, they receive a, an email, mm-hmm. this is one way that, it, that it's happening. Gas station attendants, they get an email with a, 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 phishing, a phishing email, they click on the link, they go to a site, their computer is infected, and then this malware gets on their, on their computer network and scans their network and is able to connect to the same network, the same uh, network that the gas systems are connected to. And all the credit card processing, the credit card data is, is, uh, is accessible via the same network. Now, what's interesting about this, and this, by the way, was uh, brought into light by Visa. Visa released a, a, a warning a couple of days ago this month. So you can look at look that up. Visa basically warned business owners and consumers about this this uh, issue that is happening at gas stations. And the problem is has to do with gas stations that have credit card terminals that do not have the chip, the security chip. If they're only using the magnetic strip, those are the ones that are vulnerable. Okay? So if they don't have the security chip uh, functionality, then be careful, be aware where you're putting gas. Uh that that is not PCI compliant anymore, and you know it just gives you an in, an idea of how the security stance of that gas station is. So you might want to rethink. And I know it's a long, you know, when you're driving for gas, this is a, kind of the last thing you're thinking about. But unfortunately, you have to think about that as well. If you're going to put your card in or give it to the attendant, uh, and if it doesn't have a chip, the card reader doesn't have a chip, then this is a one area of concern. Again, the gas stations are being uh, hacked, and then the, the hackers, they basically stay inside the gas station's network, and they monitor the traffic from the credit card uh, transactions that are coming up. And because it's not using the chip, then the information is easily readable uh, from the hacker, okay? So that's the, that's the problem there. So uh, that is a, again, if, if you want to get the... the the information that Visa submitted, they made it publicly available. Sign up for the cybersecurity tip of the week. I'll, I'll send you uh, the information or the link. Uh, it's a very extensive. They actually give you examples of what is happening and what data they're getting. So that's an important uh, thing to consider. Uh, next time you fill up at the gas station, be aware uh, how that works. And that hacking method happens in many different ways. Um, when you hear about these large retailers being hacked and, you know, even local stores being hacked, that's a very common technique. The hackers get into the network via a phishing email or some other way. And once they're inside the network, they access the credit card terminals and the POS systems and they're able to get that. So there's multiple issues there, multiple issues. Uh, so, uh, just keep that, keep that in mind. This is my tip for today. Uh, stay tuned for my next tip coming up tomorrow. Thank you very much.